Ahoy, ahoy. Hello. I think we're live. I think we are live. Oh, good, good, good. That's us. So we're Bullside Gaming. Oh, I'm Ugg. This is Zug. Ahoy. Let's do it, in case you didn't know. Let's do this. Do it. What are we doing, anyway? You never good. said what we were doing. Just chaos waste, probably. Okay. It's alright then. Oh, I should try and sit better in my chair so my spinal column doesn't feel like it's been destroyed. I was getting Diablo 2 elbow, 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 Diablo 2 elbow back. I think it was all that Factorio we played. <laughs> you I were getting literally... slightly obsessed with it. No, I've backed away now. I've backed away. Also, you know, the pain kept, keeps me away. <laughs> The fact that I can't like play computer games for very long before my my arm starts to like. You need collapse. a new arm pillow or something, man. I do. My arm pillow is like poor. Maybe I should ask one for Christmas. Maybe I just steal one from downstairs. That's another way of dealing with it, isn't it? Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh. I gotta get my I gotta get my barley wine sorted out. Fair enough. Oh, let's go for plus stamina, because that's what the Witch Hunter Captain needs. By the way, it's not at all. You don't need fucking stamina as the Witch Hunter Captain. You just need stamina recovery. Now, now. Well, I'm just saying, you don't need it. That's why we're going, although it does have plus programs coins. We're only going there for the coins, it's not for the stamina. Stamina, you are going there for the stamina. It's not. Bullshit, you don't need it. Oh, this smells nice. It's a smoked barley wine. Um, mm. Is it like drinking okay. smoked ham? I don't know, because I haven't... <laughs> Any more <laughs> curse resist? Django's learning about... He is. He's also, learning about Vermintide. I was trying the whole... Because I, I read on the patch notes that if you give curse resist to the a warrior priest, it just increases his base health. It increases his sexual prowess. Well, yeah, and that, but it his doesn't sexual actually fortitude. work. No. Yeah, it's, it? no. And his um, no. inherent 20% damage reduction apparently doesn't work at the moment. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it's all right. I've, I, I, <laughs> I only found out about it because I saw it on the forums. I was like, oh, I what, hadn't realised. What does, like, Barding get? Does he get, like, an inherent damage resistance? Um, I think he does. I'd have to check. Apart from his Grombardil. Apart his from his Grom Grombardil. Grombardil. Oh, Grombardil. Grombardil. <laughs> oh, fucking Bomb. I fucking hate him so much. Oh, Tom Bombardil. Oh, Bidoopadoo. You know he could have just taken the ring himself. Not Tom Bombardil. He couldn't take the ring. He's it's Tom his... Bombardil. He was too busy. Fucking that tart he was living Tom, with. Tom Bombadil, he's the king of the stream. Oh, Tom Bombadil. Ugh. But yeah, if anyone's got any questions about the Warrior Priest, please feel free to like. Or well, Tom Bombadil. Or Tom Bombadil, yeah. But you know. Oh, Tom Bombadil, he answers your questions. He Tells doesn't you really. About the Warrior Priest and. From what I remember, he didn't really answer anything. He just kind of fucked around. Oh, he saved them from the the, the willow thing, didn't he? Old oh, man willow, oh just man about. willow, no wake up, old Tom Bombadillo. Fucking I fucking hate Tom Bombadillo. He's such a shit character. There's a reason why I think they didn't put him in the films. It's because he was a fucking dog shit character that added it was nothing. Too good. He did add nothing. True, true. <laughs> he literally all he did was add like two hours of fucking singing that bullshit song of his. But it's all right. We've got a good book list today. Uh, apparently, did you read that if you ulti with it and then inspect yourself, you can read the good book? Really. Yeah, if you ultimate and then like inspect yourself because he's holding up the book, it puts it in so you can read it. Let's have a look. I've ultimated, but I can't. I can't read the book. I can't remember. I saw it. 
I saw a thing. It looked like a lie to me because I just inspected myself. On a more myself. knowledgeable. Wow, you are the shittest shock spire ever. So you probably did no, it wrong. No, I'm the um, shittest witch hunter captain ever. No, whatever. You got plenty of space for uh, plenty of space for that uh, title in the uh, wire. Wow. Precious right here. Wow. Hopefully that guy's like choked to death on his own vitriol. Say guy, child. Is that the shrine or is that just some oh it's just some candles? Damn you candles. Liberty Clops. Murder them. So I was putting to test my um, my bot theory last Everybody night. Clops. Oh, and my Clifty Clops. So, for one legend run, I took um, Carillion as the Sister of Thorn, and for the other Please. one, I took her as the Way Watcher. The Sister Please. of Thorn did about fourteen thousand damage in one run, and the Way Watcher did about three. Three damage. That's not very much Just damage. Three damage, and then shit herself and fell three over. Three damage. <laughs> No, it doesn't seem to do anything interesting up here, so it's good down here. No, that hurts. Yeah, it was quite a, quite a long drop, that. It's a fucking death drop and half, that is. It's a fucking outrageous death drop. One that causes death. That's shit. Aptly named. No. Don't know what the bots do. Oh, I don't know, we don't need no stinking bots to achieve our goals, do we? We do have lofty goals, though. Do we? Well, not really. Just not dying. Oh. See, that's why I fucking love the Sister of Thorn, man. Like, I can tell when you're attacking a monster because it just melts. Standard. Right, let me get a thing here. What have we got? Oh, oh. I left it. Sigmar's executioner. <laughs> no, we're not even Sienna bots, Django. They're terrible. Yeah, As I've, I've, I've now officially stated in one of my guys, they're fucking shit. They just continuously die. I fine-tuned this bot setup after many, many thousands of hours of playing this game. If you believe that. Well, you should, because I've said it to you. Of course, you didn't cover what to do if you don't have... You should cover, like, different flavours of bot setup. What? So if you're not saying salt spy, par example, what should you set salt spy? Or what character should you bring instead of like you're playing salt spy? You know what I mean. You should do all characters combinate bot combinations. Yeah. There you go. And you can be known as the bot guy. Basically, if you're not playing salt spy, you take him as the witch under captain and ignore him because he'll be terrible. But he will give you twenty percent damage boost because he's there. As long as you tag monsters, obviously. And under no circumstances take a Sienna bot, because they just don't work. Like, they refuse to use their ultimate abilities, and it just makes them useless. Like the um, the sister of the thorn bot uses her ability every fucking time a special turns up. I was testing this last night. Every it's time. Like me. Well, yeah. Sorry. Unkind. But yeah, well, man, you should have fucking seen us playing Vermintide One. 
how many just enraged moments do we have when a fucking gun rack turns up and the bots just stop working? I remember it. You don't remember playing the ramparts and a, a rattling gun turns up and the bots just go, nope, not working anymore, and just hid behind a corner and let us die? Maybe. <laughs> you think after four patches, yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Well, well, they could be a little bit less shit. To be fair, they, they have gotten slightly less shit with every patch, and apart from the ones where they actually, you know, just broke them more. Compared to the first game, yeah, these bots are fucking amazing. Weirdly, Kruber is pretty much okay on any of the bots, so, you know, if you wanted to take him as something else, you can. I mostly take him as the mercenary just because it's a nice balance between damage and his ultimate just gives you health. And you don't really need him as the foot knight because you've got Bard in there as the iron breaker to, you know, tank the hits for you. Uh, the rangers are okay, but the bots don't tend to use their ranged weapons very often, so the point of the ranger being there is just ruined and the grow knight yeah the grow knight's all right to take with you but the reason i didn't put that in the video is because if you're playing on the the warrior priest you don't want to take the grail knight because you're also losing another character of a ranged weapon so the bots are there to snipe for you because you can't Yeah, I actually put some thought into it. I think Ugg's just passed out. I'll go there for a boon. No, I haven't passed out. Don't be like that. Uh... Bardin's newest career, the Engineer, it's not great as a bot. Again, it suffers from the same thing as the Ranger. Doesn't use its ranged weapon very often. And it doesn't really make use of its ultimate. But as the Ironbreaker, Bardin seems to use his fucking torpedo launcher continuously. He loves that bloody thing. Fair enough. Oh man, you've seen him. He fucking whips that thing out for every occasion. He does. He likes his torpedo launcher, he does. I suppose it might be interesting for the next one, um, setting Kruber to the Grail Knight, seeing what that does. Is he going to likely to do anything? I suppose so. We can have a look. Oh, I'm not. But it's going to be quite high. He's, the Grow Knight is extremely high damage output. So I would assume he would be all right. Taste my flail, you bastards. So, uh, more health gets down if you want to use one, man. Damn it. It's tied my swing. Mm, fuck it. I'll have one as well. Where are we going? Yeah, this way. Where you're going, man. You're right. Ugh. Oh, no. A barrel run. I thought to ask you, does your beer have uh, long-lived the new flesh written on it? 
Oh, it was called Videodrome. So it's like maybe it's got like a little quote on it. No. Maybe that smacked too much of copyright infringement for them. I don't think they care. <laughs> I love the flail and shield. We are done. We nice one. Oh, I actually laughed today, man. Um, Games Workshop put out a, like a comedy video. And it was actually, comedy video. yeah, it was, it was like a joke video of their CEO called James Workshop. Oh yeah, James Workshop. I know James Workshop. Yeah, it was. It was basically just being the toast of London, which was quite funny. Speaking of toast of London, you know they're doing a new series of that. Are they really? Toast of Tinsel Town. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's coming soon. Oh, nice. I don't think they'll ever do another Mighty Boosh, though. No. Barden's like embroiled in combat. Let's go help him. So how are you feeling about the javelin now? I'm getting my um Seems like you're getting chops your eye around in. it. Yeah. Oh. I'll put that up. Yeah. Just fucking missed time my block and just got hit by eight of them. Ah, prick. He's trying to go for a mid-air javelin throw. Just any old javelin throw will do. Any old javelin. Any, any, any old javelin. Oh, fucking hell. What's happened this time, Poppet? This is my legs. I didn't get a new chair. I fucking hate this chair. I fucking hate it. You should get yourself one of those lovely six hundred pound chairs. Oh. I just need to get like a chair that's not utter garbage. Been crushed by my ass over the last two years. That's had all life suffocated from it. Oh, well, that's fucking boozy. Where we go to till that's a boozy beverage. Uh, ooh, attack speed, eh? Go down this way. Oh, this way. Right. Oh, you can spend very boozy coins at this shrine to receive boons. Perhaps you'd prefer to buy a bit too much for you. No, it's a, well. Each have your own coins. Spend or save. Fucking hell. I thought I'd go for regenerate one health every three seconds. There's no disadvantages. That's pretty good. Yeah. 
not as jolly thing as any good. Well. Let's go with Slanesh. Good old Slanesh. Mm. The thing is, I bought like the start beer pack, and I think this one is like the minimum strength in the pack. Bloody hell. So it's like ten percent going to like twelve percent, I think. <laughs> but it can't it can't be as bad as the seventeen uh, percent I had. No, well, the one where you could a barely speak. The one off where with... I had like a third of it, and then like I basically I had to wait five hours before I could drink anything else. Yeah. Because the thing about it is, you know, it's like. It's only 17%, but the problem is, because it's a stout, it's like not like drinking like a bunch of shots. It's lots of really compl complex. It sneaks up like, on you. It kind of fucks you up. <laughs> but in technical terms, it fucks you up. It fucks your shit up. Yeah. Life steal a little bit. Love a bit of life steal. A bit of what? Oh, I've got a potion of life steal. So it's like I left it. Oh, it's a roger. Where's our little friend? Roger about. Roger. Fucking hell, he's behind us. And he's just like shoved me off the edge. What a dick. Thank you, Kruber. I'm not going to point my ass towards a lovely wall. No. Nah. No. Nah. Oh dear. All right, we'll we'll find you. Oh my! Blue. I'll just sit here and uh, have a drink your beer. Let's have a boon. Hey, Boone. Oh, there's a blight storm or somewhere. I can hear him wheezing. Ugg's up there. Yeah, my way. Behind, Bard and dealt with it. Oh, she thinks Bard's a fucking hero. Anything over here we can steal? Nope. Oh, there's oh, a is there. about this Friday. <laughs> Oh, is this your uh, Christmas party that's been meaning to happen for like no, six no, months? I, no, I'm not. No, I can't be. I can't be out. Of, I can't be doing crazy Friday on Friday. It's Friday. Got something to do on Saturday. No. Got something to do on Saturday. I can't just be. Where am I anyway? You're above us, I think. You're up there. Mm, I see where I am. Yeah, so I can't I can't be doing that. You missed some things on the floor. Oh yeah, I'm just coming up to get Oi. in and we're gonna go back and then we'll go back down and get the um chest. But I don't think there's a death drop around here anyway. Oh 
Um, ah, this way. You're going to do the heist of the century. The, the, to be fair, the best tactic for doing a heist is one, not tell us you're doing that, because we're yeah. going like, to hear it in the news if that's the case. Probably, yeah. It's going to be like, to in right. Germany, Gets in you. Germany, $20 billion dues of jewellery were stolen. How does one get over to you? Maybe I have to go up and around? You're going to print some things. You, it depends whether those things... It's more impressive if those things are like miniatures. Oh, there we go. Found you. Oh, it's... not resonant. All right, now we can head down and go do the chest. Do you reckon you could 3D print paper? Mm, maybe. <laughs> 3D print. It'd be very paper. stiff paper. But it'll be like, you know. You're going to begin the trial then? Yeah. Rat ogre. This time we're gonna point ourselves not at an edge. You fuck off. I do something. Stand up here in him. We win. I think that was somewhat tricksy. Yeah, he kind of just focused on you and just stood there. Um, yeah, we take that. Yep, I I can't deal with the uh, increased <laughs> field of view. It freaks me out. It makes me feel like I'm in a fishbowl and I've drunk too much. He's like he's like a cart horse. That's why. Yeah. I need to have my vision as closed off as possible. Otherwise, I freak out and might like, start bucking and kicking. My my field of view is set to a lovely, lovely one hundred. I can't I can't deal it with it, man. Help me. <laughs> See, my response to that is always I've completed all of Cataclysm, I don't need it. Yeah. No, that's true. Besides, you don't need field of view because when the, they come up behind you, the the rats make a little noise. Go, they make a little. Yeah, they do. I don't fucking know because I've never heard the noise, but they make a noise apparently. Yeah, you can hear them coming up behind you. You say that. I do, man. There are other people who know about it as well. It's not just me being You've insane. Never managed to capture this noise. You should capture the noise and you should be like, 
Here it is. I can hear it. And this is what you're here for. All I ever hear is like the sound of me swinging. <laughs> I hear the hat this also. <laughs> Never a scaven going. That's <laughs> <laughs> because they don't fucking giggle like the fucking <laughs> pastry man. <laughs> Do they not do that? That's why I've never heard them. So they don't giggle like the fucking Stay Puff Man, man. <laughs> Does the Stay Puff Man, Marshmallow Man? Does he giggle? I don't think he giggles. Doesn't he like guffaw a little at a time? I don't know. I, I always thought of it as a giggle. Guffaw. No, he's like... No, I don't think he makes any noise. I think he's actually a mute. Functional mute. But then, then we're all very proud of him. He's... he's he, um... He like, you know, struggled all hard all his life to be, um, to rose to the position of the destroyer of the world. Oh no, it's not the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. It's the the Pillsbury Doughboy. That's what I'm thinking of. Is that the, the Tills, Tillsbury bl Bly Bly? <laughs> the Tillsbury Blow Bly. Flub bla, flub bla. This wine, beer, wine, beer, beer, wine is quite good. Yeah, I can tell you're already fucked. <laughs> Uh, what are we doing? Suffer damage over time by spending time next to you, Zug. I know Hurtful. that feeling. Hurtful. And what? Oh, fucking hell, we've got a Minotaur already. Minotaur? I will give him a stabbing of his life. I'll give him a stabbing. Where is he? He's coming. Where is he? There he is. So I got bomb hands. Fuck you, Minotaur. Bomb hands. Mr. Bomb hands. Good old bombs. Also, I've got the twitchy reflexes of a meerkat. Do you, though? Yeah, I'm always spinning around. I'm cleaning myself with my paws. What up, what up, Django? What is your request? It could literally be a request. No. Oh. oh, okay. I'm sure we could. Uh, I don't really have any smatters, but I'm sure I could find uh, some sort of least. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I see where this is going. Oh, there's the altar. Um, I'm sure I can. Uh, I'm just going to do it. So this is the first tier of our Patreon prize. Get a dwarf named after you. <laughs> I think Django can have a... Uh... So, oh, is it worth getting this tempered weapon? Can do. Uh, yeah, I, I get a sword. It won't be on tomorrow's video because like, I've already videoed that. And then, unless I go back in time and edit it, I'll do something... God. What am I waiting for anyway? Have we done the thing yet? Have we pushed the button? Yeah, we've pushed it, we'll just wait for it to turn up. Right. He's, uh, oh, there he is. Oh, he's mighty, apparently. Remember to drink your potion to heal yourself. No, I know. Well, some people forget. Vienna mm. friend. <laughs> no, that's just really hurtful, Django.
I love the fact that the dwarves have relationships, but I don't think it really has a big... It's like... You have dwarves with nemesis. Is it nemesi? Nemesis. It's like it's not. It's not that. It's not that big a drain on their social time, to be honest. I don't know. My nemesis takes up quite a lot of my time. Oh, do I do I risk it and change my offhand weapon to a random red and see what happens? Ah, oh, gone. Random red. You could do. Oh, um, <laughs> I've got two tomes and books. It's impossible, bro. <laughs> um, uh, there is a question in the chat oh. that's actually related to uh, Vermintide, which is incredibly strange for this live stream. So, I was never really impressed by the Zealot. I always kind of thought it was a bit of a shit class. Uh, the Witch Hunter Captain kind of, it was a jack of all trades. It did all three careers kind of better than the Bounty Hunter or the Zealot. But the Warrior Priest is actually really fucking good. Um, he isn't, he, you won't be outputting as much damage as the Zealot or the Witch Hunter Captain. But the utility and support you bring and your just general ableness to just fuck everything up continuously and stagger hordes it's you it's one of the best in the game you're not quite as tough as the iron breaker but only marginally well you haven't seen it if you're uh, you haven't seen a 20 percent damage reduction oh that's true because the 20 percent damage reduction apparently isn't working properly as in, it's not working at all. I should add, according to the forums. How do you know, though? I don't know. I assume people test it more than I do. I suppose they could load it up in, like, one of those... Modded realms and actually have number... Modded realms and number crunchy. Oh, yeah, the, the Holy Great Hammer is, is just hilarious to play with, and so is the, um, the Hammer and Tome. Yo, Belgium. Yo, babe. Um, I'm not sure how many of my um, dwarves have negative traits, but I can have a look, find someone who's suitably malformed. At least he's got bad social skills. Hurtful. <laughs> yeah, I quite like all of the new weapons for the um, Warrior Priest. I'm not actually a huge fan of the paired um, hammers, you know, like because they're just a carbon copy of Bardin's. And I find them a bit boring, but the Holy Great Hammer, the uh, the Tome and Hammer, the Flail and the Shield, they're all really, really fun to play with. I was about to say, where'd all my fucking coins go? And I remembered I upgraded my weapon, so that's where they went. But yeah, for the um, the low, low price of like three euros, I think it's definitely worth just picking him up. You know, you don't even have to get the uh, uh, the skin bundle if you don't want to. That's like six. Although the, the skins you get are really nice, they're really high quality. Oh, I might go for the uh, I might go for the growl night. You know, it's been long enough. Yeah, hey, man. I like to get um I like to get the new updates at least six months after they've come out. Well, why don't you try it after you've done this one, man? Hmm. Like the Grow Knight's really Might good. Well. It's just a bit weird getting used to not having a ranged weapon. Yeah, but I'm rubbish with my ranged weapon, so Yeah, you're right at the sister of Thorn. Gives me, it gives me an excuse to not use my weapons. Yeah, that's true. I get random boon. Go for it. Uh, that's lame. Increased yep. healing received by fifty percent. Lame. Sorry, you were saying. Oh no, the Grow Knight's just—it's a really high DPS character. A 
And the um, the whole blessings of the lady are quite a nice, unique kind of um, adage to it. Oh, there's a chest back here, man. Yeah, I think we could just not fight him on this platform, though. Mm, yeah, it's a pretty good idea. Just run in here. Oh, God, it's a spawn, yeah. To the alcove. Um... Oh. Oh. Christ. Fuck you. I blame Kruber for that. Oh, God. I've been grabbed. And Kruber's just fallen off. Oh, fucking useless. Yeah. Oh, that's how you, you fuck up instantly, folks. Well, it means you can get the Grail Knight now. <laughs> I took an arrow to the knee. I blame Kruber for that because I ran back to get him and then there were many, many spawns and it all went wrong. Well. Yeah, I'll use the um, the two-handed hammer this time just to give it a bit of a an airing. Yeah, you see, the Sister of Thorns consistently really high damage. Right, let me just go and purchase this. Can you buy it from within the game? Yeah, you just talk to Lona. Oh. Buy in the game then? Yeah. What's this said? Uh, downloadable content. Oh, it's like one pound fifty. Huh. Rather reasonable. One pound fifty. Oh, I could suppose I can afford that. Just dump all this shit. Yeah, we 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 uh we failed there. Uh, we failed. Uh, purchase it for myself. That's what I'm doing. I don't know if it's a support class at this point now, anyway. Well, it was meant to be, <laughs> but yeah, it kind it of turned into one of the highest damaging classes in the game. Yeah. Oh. Like, if you take if you take the Deepwood Staff, then yeah, you're you're kind of stuck in support. But if you take the Moonfire Bow or the Javelin, you can just do really stupid things with it. Yeah. Uh, it's all the javelin because it's all the monster damage, isn't it? Mm. Mm. But I don't think they're they're ever going to um, nerf the sister oh, at all not... at this point. Hold on, give me a sec. It's been dumb. It's like you don't own a DLC. It's like I fucking do. You stupid game. Just restart the game, man. I am. Oh yeah, while we're waiting, I did get the white armor the other night, but. It doesn't quite look as nice as the, like, the bought skins. I'll be the judge of it. The official judge. It doesn't have a cape, though, which I find quite sad. Is that pretty useful, though? It's all right. It looks all right. Yeah, it's all right, but, I mean... I think. Oh, yeah. What? Nothing. No, I just think like, like the gold one's really nice. It's loading. It's a loading. I don't know. Why did you think a deep dive solo would be fun? Oh god, oh. Django! It's never fun. It's always fucking horrific. <laughs> I'll wear the white armor for the next one then. Here we go, Grail Knight. Chuck's invite then. Oh yeah. Do you want a quick build for the Grail Knight? Yes, I do. 
Right, give me a second, let me find my book of builds. Did you keep it in a book? No, not really. I'll just have it sitting next to me. It, um... Hold on, I'm not ready yet. I'm just randomly opening chests. Mm, good, okay. Oh, I'm impressive. Okay. Listen. So this is. Do you do you have the sword and mace combo? Um, I do. And you want either an executioner sword or a two-handed hammer as your weapon. Hammer. Okay. So the talents you want are two, one, two. Yeah. And then three for the next three. So your horde clearing are going to be your mason sword and elite and armor is going to be the hammer. Let me just make sure I've got... Smash ability, just like swordy. Yeah, you just hack in front of you a massive sword and it'll basically fuck up everything. Just make sure okay. Krillian's set to Sister of the Thorn. It will leave it on champion. As you've just got the Grail Knight. Push attack with the mace swords. Okay. Yeah. You basically do like a little scissor attack in front of you. Yeah, crit chance, obviously, for this one. And then we'll go down to attack speed. Yeah. Totally what I was thinking. Oh. oh, that's a oh, that's a powerful beverage. Is it a bit pokey? Oh. Yeah, I'm starting to settle into it now, though. <laughs> Is the audio all right? I don't know. Why I'm asking over the audio because, like, if it's not, then we're not all right because they won't hear it. But it's just saying, or uh, YouTube is saying the audio bit rate is zero. I presume you can hear me. Yeah, so if there's but if they something can't hear the audio, me, then they wouldn't let know. us know. They wouldn't say anything, would they? It's true, yeah, but I can hear you. Yeah. But that's because... That's because we're using a third-party software to talk. Yeah. We're in the same room. We're on the same microphone. Die, sack rat. So what do I need to do then? Just hit stuff, man. Awesome. Don't forget to like do your push block attack. So you block and then hit the left click, and you know you push them and hit them. Okay. And you do like a little scissor attack in front of you, which is quite cool. Yeah, I think it's just YouTube being annoying then. Matches. Yeah. Berserkers. I think it does quite a lot of monster damage as well, that thing. Your uh, slashy attack. Okay. Oh, Bard's going to be happy. Is anyone using ammo in this? 
all the rockets are him. Oh, he missed. I got a javelin. Yeah, the the sister of Thornbot is just. I swear, he's got to have different AI programming to the other ones because she's a lot more capable than the other bots. Um, yeah, we'll go for a blessing. A bull blessing. Good old Barden. Where are we going? No idea. Push block makes for good. All right. Oh. I never actually, I never really leave her with the staff. Like as a bot, I've always just leave with the javelin, just because I don't know. I've just never trusted the bot to actually use the staff properly. But I might give it a go and see what it's like. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, where are we going down here? Oh, I was trying to go for like an epic hammer drop then, but you killed it before I got down there. Oh, I'm sorry. You made me look like a fool, Hug. <laughs> oh, fuck it, random boon. Also, I quite like the Grail Knight because he's the only real Ruba Cree you can use the mace on. Well, the two handed mace, even. It just doesn't synergize well with any of the other careers. Oh, yeah, I've got a. I use that, my special. I keep, always forget I've got that. Though I'll try and weave it into the, um, the attack pattern. I still, punching. I still need the achievement to uh, get punched by a Chaos Warrior and then punch him back. It is quite satisfying just to punch a slave rat and see it go flying. I also find the um, the attack pattern of the Holy Great Hammer just really satisfying. So it's overhead, then a sort of a poke in the face, and then a cleave. What was it? I was I was looking at it's you basically. It's heavy attack one, and then light attack one, uh, both overheads, so you can clear out armor really quickly with it. Another 
Ooh, many gunners. He loves that troll Emma torpedo. Oh yeah. Um come over it, man. There's a use your health potion to pick up a health pack. Might as well it's just sitting there. Why is there so many uh, thingies? Not the rattling gunners. Yeah, it's like many five of gunners. them. a fair few. Quick, Barden. Come get some ammo. There's another gunner up here. I'm going to shoot it. Let's just run away. Like heroes. Yeah, I'll fire that up. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, Bond finally got him. He did it. Yeah. You crew, man. That's not kind, is it? No. <laughs> you fucked yourself already with that one beer. Has it destroyed uh, you? No, I'm alright. Really? Mm. I'll be alright. <laughs> Do you need to make yourself a coffee? It's too late to coffee. I can't drink fucking coffee at half past ten. No. Nah. I'll get water in a bit. I might, I might stop and have water. And carry on. I will say though, I, I'm just, I'm not a fan of the mason sword. Are you not? No. I'm not the fan of it. Is there another build, Zug, you've got that doesn't involve this? Yeah, you can use the um, uh, Bretonian Longsword instead of that. Hmm. It's not a fan of it. I don't know why. The Longsword, though. That sounds more my style. Punch that spawn. I really like the Mason Sword. It is pretty poor against armor unless you're heavy attacking. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It feels a little bit... Yeah, maybe a little anemic. But... Yeah. Yeah, the Bretonian's longsword, and then you can pair it with the longsword and shield. No, oh, I thought I could get him, and I couldn't. Well, what's nice about the Bretonian Longsword and the Shield is you can block 
um, fire rats with it. I've seen lots of people on the forums um, bitching about the uh, warrior priest needs increased movement speed, and it's just you really don't. Oh, it's really underpowered. It, no, it's not at all. What they want is they want another glass cannon build, which is not what the warrior priest is. You're a tank, and people just don't seem to understand that. It's like you're a tank that can do pretty decent damage. It needs movement speed and more crit and more attack and it just needs more. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> like, if you want to play something really overpowered, play the Grail Knight or the Sister of Thorn. Was their DPS classes. No, the Grail Knight gets a shield. So, yeah, but doesn't make him a tank. Ooh. Sword and shield. Yeah, man, if you want to try the other weapons, just yeah, go for the random weapon shrines and see what you get. Yeah, so it's just like... I think that's just the normal sword and shield, though, not the Bretonian long sword and shield. Oh, well, you know, it's a sword and shield. All the same to me. So the only problem with the uh, fourth career classes is you can't get red variants of the weapons without smashing five reds to make one. So they're not particularly user friendly if you want to go straight into, you know, like Legend of Cataclysm. Unless you've already got the stuff ready to smash for it. Yeah, I suppose so. For me getting like any uh, any uh, reds would be like a miracle of <laughs> biblical proportions. Yeah, it would. Ooh, you've. Was that your question you've already answered? What was that? There's a question. Another oh. question. Um. So when I was doing it, the grudge marks hadn't come out yet, and I literally just spammed groups. It was I would just I would do one if it failed, just join up into another one. But I will warn you, there are some really fucking toxic people out there. So just, you know, be warned. Some groups, some groups are really fucking great. I've met some really nice people just doing random characters and runs. But you will meet some of the, um, shall we say, CSGO players who hit the bed of rage if anything goes wrong or they come against any trial or tribulation. But the, the problem is Legend doesn't really prepare you for doing Cataclysm. It's such a huge step up. You could, the only way to get good at doing it is just to do it a lot and then sort of get a feel for it. So it's a bit difficult to start off with, but when you kind of get the flow for 
the amount of damage you you know you'll take from certain attacks or now you need to sort of um hold back a bit maybe you know not go as hard as you would on like champion or legend oh there's the chest but honestly my tip for just doing it would be just find a random group in the group finder and just try it you know what they're going to do they'll be they'll say mean things you know just time to fuck off and go find another group I just follow all the classic rules of Vermintide don't run away yeah fight as a group yeah don't run away fight as a group um try not to waste potions and stuff Like right now, if you if you had this sort of um, apex on Cataclysm, uh, we'd be wasting these bombs and stuff that are on the floor. But because it's on Champion, we don't really need to worry about it too much. But if it was on Cataclysm, you'd want to take advantage of like all of this sort of stuff. I keep thinking it's, it's um, a potion one, but it's not. And I'm just drinking potions going, why am I healing? Mm. Cataclysm just requires more teamwork, and it's difficult when you're pugging it because... Some people just refuse to work as a team and will they want to be the big dick hero and like go kill everything themselves. You may find shrines along the path and offer coins to earn miracles. Yeah, well, I think we we've been like the whole we've done the whole uh, legendary carry thing. Mm. Haven't we with you, Zug? Yeah. And in a way it, it kind of I don't know. In a way you might be holding your friends back slightly. <laughs> Um, the only way you know, for them to get better yeah. would be just to go right. We're going to do some legend. Because as I said, like legend doesn't train you for kata, and like champion doesn't really train you for legend. You've just got to do it, understand what's going wrong, and just sort of keep trying it, and you know. Oh shit! Let's go for that one. Because we had a similar thing, because obviously you were like really, really good, and um, it made it difficult to learn. I think. <laughs> yeah, no, it it did. It was like when, um, like when PT first started playing as well, and it was like, oh, we just chuck them straight into character, um, straight into legend. It's like it's not helpful for them. While they're leveling up and stuff, yeah, go through the levels of difficulty, and you know, like slowly show everyone what's going on but once you've gotten to the point where you're all wearing exotic gear you kind of have to step into legend but it's also um pick your maps as well if you're teaching people how to do legend go for um Bellsburg. yeah helmgar uh the first map that i've forgotten the name for some reason the one where you ring the bell all of sigma blowy place yeah that one um, into the nest is actually yeah, quite easy. Not a cat player, you see. Into the nest is really easy. It's long, but there's not many points where it's going to go horrendously fucking wrong, and the last boss is not that difficult to deal with. Just you know, don't stand in front of him when he's doing his cleave, and that's it. Uh, against the grain is actually more difficult than you'd think. It's pretty though. Oh, it's, it's a really, thing. it's a really nice map. It can go horrifically fucking wrong because they've got some weird um, horde spawn points in it. Oh, 
Uh, Fort Brackenbrook is not too difficult. It's not one of the worst ones. Like for me, the worst ones would be uh, the ruins of Athol Loren or whatever it is, and the sewers of the ritual at the end, because the end arena parts can be so fucking random. Like one misplaced blightstormer, and you're fucked. What an absolute dickhead! God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, this isn't good. Yeah, so basically any any map that's got an arena in it as the end fight is going to be generally quite difficult as a learning curve. Sorry. Yeah. It's fucking Anything that's got like a chaos spawn in it. Yeah. And a rampant chaos spawn that just knocks your entire team off the map. That's also quite annoying. All right, we'll sort you out with the um, long swords this time, man. It's annoying. Mm. I'm ready to go get a glass of water. Yeah, no worries. That fucking the chaos spawns have just been messing us up the last two runs. things but it's times like that you can see where a class is going to have difficulties because if I was on the sister of thorn or the shade like a monster at half health wouldn't be that unpleasant to deal with you'd literally pop your ultimate and just burst the shit out of it Warrior, um, brain, as a salt spire, you don't have the damage to be able to outdo its healing when it grabs you. If it's rampant when you can't actually use bloody bombs against it. What do you want, Lona? What were you telling me about? Claim my daily reward. Oh, okay. Lovely coins. Give the, the dual maces a try. I'm not a huge fan of them, but we'll see how they go. Talents. Right. And I'm just changing some bits around. We want rising judgment. Okay, so you want. Hold on. Um, oh. Lost my Kruber one. Oh, there it is. Do I have to, like, make a sword? Uh, yeah, you'll have to make a Bretonian longsword, and a Bretonian longsword, and a shield, but it doesn't matter about stats at the moment because we're doing Chaos Waste. Let's try and make an exotic one. Oh, 
I can't see it. Do you have to do something special to get it? Or? Mm, oh, no, I see it, don't worry. Oh, I see it. Bleh. Uh. Oh, yeah, righteous and mm. I was just I'm just trying to remember the names of the fucking maps, man. I just, the Convocation of Decay. I would not try on Legend with your friends unless you're feeling lucky, because it's basically the first say ninety eight percent of the map. Pretty easy. The last two percent can just go horribly wrong, just randomly. Same with Athel Yin Lui. Um, and the festering ground. The festering ground can be quite annoying. The fuck won't it give me, let me roll a fucking. I'm just gonna fucking upgrade this, this is ridiculous. Remember it rolls off of the rest of the gear you're wearing. I've got 650. Then it's just being irritating then. It's been a dick. Right. We got another one. What? Oh yeah. That's one of the night. Yeah, first first vol for you. Right. Um, I'd Oh, there you go. Bye bye. Right. <clears throat> so, what did I want? A hammer and this thing. Um, no, you want the Bretonian longsword and then the Bretonian longsword and shield. God, I've got to make a longsword as well. Using that ridiculous accent. What accent? Anyway, what did you want? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's a new conversation I've not heard between them before. <laughs> what do you want? Must you use that ridiculous accent? Uh, what accent? Never mind. <laughs> then once you've done that, I'll tell you what talents you want. Tell me, Kruber, have you considered striving for the order? Me? Become a Templar? A, a witch hunter? I believe you have the fortitude for that task. As a captain, I can All right. sign you up. I am ready to receive the knowledge. So it is two 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 three three three. Easy enough. Okay, I'm ready to rock and roll then. So the shield um, can block warp flame and the two-handed sword, well, the, the sword on its own has a weird heavy attack. If you hold down the heavy attack, you start, um, you have it in like a attack position but you're actually ready to repost, so it will block an attack and then strike back. I want you to know, which is, you know, quite cool. 
Okay. And I'm just going to do something very important. Changing the illusion on my hammers. Yeah, the um, the Petroni longsword's uh, really, really good. We'll give it a whirl. Oh. The chaos waste are ever changing, <sighs> and so is your path. Now I've got so many glasses on my table. <laughs> Too many glasses on the table now. Two. A halo indicates a I'll be fine. In the I'll be fine. Mm, let's go uh, north. Attack speed. Yep. On the way to attack speed. Hmm. Oh. I think my my only problem with it, and it's a really pathetic problem, is uh, it looks really short. Like when you're attacking with it, it looks weird, and that's like <laughs> literally my only problem with it is the cosmetic issue. Yeah, you are bound closer than ever. What one feels, all will share. A healing trap right here. Another slay. The tally grows. Hold your tongues. Black man out. I think with the Bretonian longsword, it's literally just aim for the face. So, like most weapons. Aim for the face. Okay, I can aim for faces. There it is. It sounded really close, but it's fucking miles out. really nippy as well, the uh, longsword. Yeah, it's weird. I think it's like I one of these... kind of nice that they've got a different sword. Yeah. I think it's like one of the only two-handed weapons that doesn't suffer from horrific movement speed issues. Damn you! Lightly out of my reach. We'll go for Ren and Boone, I think. chest and hopefully not get a chaos spawn that's going to ruin us. To be honest, they're very selfish for not wanting to get hit in the face. Damn, it always does that. I'll get my fucking weapon buff. Just as the last thing dies. Uh, ooh, they're all quite good, actually. 
Let's get that one. <laughs> Don't lose heart. Fight on, and the way will open. Sat crap. An entire township lurks within the mire. Press on. Ah, fuck it. Missed him. Only worth wasting a bomb on. It's a deceptively short or small amount so far. Mm. Oh, don't forget you keep, uh, you poop out strength potions just continuously. I kill 60 opponents and I, I get a poo potion. I poo yep. a potion. Get him, Barden. Get out of there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, sorry, just going mad. Don't worry. Blah, blah, blah. We've got to find the get out of here. The get out of here gate. But he seems to be liking the uh, longsword more than he did the mace. Yeah. Although, two ha one handed mace. <laughs> no one likes the one handed mace. No one likes you more, right? Everyone likes me. Get some ammo, Barden. Go Barden, go Barden. That's what we like to see. Win. Lovely, lovely victory cake. Hmm. <sighs> so do you think you're going to do a live stream on Friday without me? With or without me? I might do a uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 live stream and just... So I think if I've got the, the backup of the audience, I might be able to push through. Push through what? Oh, it's just the fact that it's depressing the living shit out of me playing that game. <laughs> like, I love it. It's a fucking really good game. But the story's so fucking depressing now. I just, I, I can't bring myself to play it. But if I've got the audience with me, I might be able to do it. Fair enough. Oh, Christ. Go away, bad spirit. All right, shall we do this, but like hide behind the rock so we don't get knocked off into the water? We got a little hole here, a little nuke, a hidey nuke. Oh, it's a troll. Lovely, lovely, friendly troll. Well, 
the, the bots have just like decided to run out and touch him. Oh, and again. Is that bloody spirit? Fuck you, spirit. All right, what we got? Uh, do do do. One of them. I'll take that. We've got a shrine. A shrine of strife. We've got a shrine of. Oh fucking hell! What the hell? We have a shrine of strife next. There we go. Brother of life. Fucking too many S's, man. Yeah, fuck you, Rogue. Oh yeah, remember you can block that with your shield. Which is quite nice. I was a bit disappointed that the Warrior Priest can't do it. No? No, he's, he can't block that stuff with his shield. He's got like a shit shield. You would have thought his shield would have been done something quite nice because they're you know, huge. Also, you know, the power of Sigma. Oh, yeah. Compels you. Big Daddy Sigma, you know. It's coming. Well, I'm Jango. I'm trying to do happy cowboy things, but it's like I don't want to spoil it for anyone who's not played it and like for Ugg, But it's just it's gotten to the point where even doing happy cowboy things are like, oh, by the way, everything's really shit, and you know you should remember. It's like, oh, okay. But can I rob, <laughs> rob a train? Like you can rob a train, but also you got to remember everything's shit. Oh, okay. Like, I just want to be a cowboy. I said, nope. Realism. So like, I don't really want realism. Can't I just be a cowboy and try on lots of hats? It's like, you can, but also realism. It's like, oh, okay. And then I made the mistake of looking up how the first game ended because I never played the first game. I was like, yeah, this should have been a warning to me. Charge through them, Billy. It seems incredibly foolish. What? It's a boon or something, is it? Yeah. It's quite funny, man. Cause my um, I'm, I've taken the talent that does that to my bubble. So as soon as I, I use it, I can run through them and knock them back. Quite funny. Sigma. 
Oh, I love that fucking holy great hammer. Yeah, crew of parry. Never. In fact, don't parry, repost. Never. Is a boat. Oh, there it is. Fucking, that's a pretty nippy boat. It's the like it's faster than it's a small world at Disney. I've never been to Disney. Yeah, me either. Quite chill. It ain't over yet. And boons can be shrines in your path. Oh, also a note for um, doing cataclysm. You want to stay on top of upgrading your weapons as well. It makes a huge difference on cataclysm. Lee, what do you mean upgrading your weapons? You know the the weapon shrines. They're upgrading them to blue, or green, blue, exotic, red. Yes. On champion and somewhat on legend, it doesn't make a huge... Well, it makes a huge difference, but it's not massively noticeable. But in Cataclysm, you can fucking tell that your weapons are dog shit. Right. Fair um, enough. Crit chance, yes. No, no chain lightning. Yeah, I got lucky at that one. Oh, fucker. I never get chain lightning. I've had chain lightning once, I think. I think this is only the second time since we've been streaming that I've had it. Nah, you said that, you said that last time. No, the know, last time I said it. The second time. No, the last time I said no, it, I said it was said the first time. Said. No, you didn't. Did. Didn't. Don't you make always me say ask Django time to go... I will ask Django to go back through the fucking <laughs> to archives. Scour all of the videos. Yeah. All of the live stream. Nah, man, you definitely said second last time, man. I've got a fucking great memory. Shockingly. I fucking don't. And though you don't, that's why you keep saying you've only had it twice. Could be why I don't know. No. You have a shockingly good bad, good bad memory. Yep. It's it's so good it's bad. No, it's so bad it's just bad. Hurtful. Well, true fucking hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> You're as mean as fucking Red Dead Redemption. Ooh. Maybe we should update our weapons. Maybe that's the point. We don't update our weapons. Yeah. I'll update it. We tend not to do it that much. No, we don't. We tend to just kind of post. Just get her along. I'm thinking that maybe sometime we've had troubles with these um, spores and shit because our weapons haven't been upgraded. Yeah. Yeah, he's got me. Hmm. Let me have a look down here first. Fucking Barden with the. Uh, oh shit. Did you just get kicked off, Hug? <sighs> yeah. God, I'm really annoyed if it says you can't get back in. 
You know, I might better get back in. Yeah, I know. Open connection. You've just got some really good power. This, in fact, I think that's what did it last time when I got lightning. The fucking connection broke. <laughs> I thought that will be a digital, a digital Bob Ross Funko Pop, a digital Bob Ross Funko Pop. What the fuck is a digital Funko Pop? Like, I understand what a Funko Pop is and who Bob Ross is. I just don't understand how it can be digital. Like, is it just something you can have on your desktop? There's no actual physical version of it. It's just like downloadable. Isn't there a Funko Pop game? I wouldn't be surprised. If it's like. You get Funko Pops and you play a game. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'll try and join you again. Okay. Joining failed. Oh, oh my fucking Christ. Are you joking? Man, I would never joke about something out on a live stream, would I? No. But one can hope. Don't worry, I can have fun hitting a bit of wood here. Let me try and invite Duh. you. It's not going to work, but I need to at least no. try. Oh, oh. No, it's not going to work, man. It's fucked, but at this point it's fucked. Um, yeah. Let me just take... I'm going to take my... Uh, up, my, my epidural layer of clothing off. Wouldn't it be your epidermis layer? Because an epidural is like... Give pregnant women. Oh, I suppose I just, there's no good time. Okay, buy, buy crit lightning, buy crit on taking damage. Sorry. It's, man, it's not your fault. The fucking game's just being a dick. So every time you get crit lightning, you're not allowed nice things. Nope. Why aren't we allowed nice things? I just I need to crash my game for a second, guys, so it'll be black for a moment, but you can still hear our dulcet tones. Does it just go black? Yeah, because I've just killed the game. It, it's fucked. The uh, the game gets out of sync, doesn't it? It does some weird fucking thing where it won't let anyone re... You can't re-invite people. It's fucked up. Yeah, it's... For some reason, sometimes you'll get kicked out of the game. If there's only two of you, the person kicked out can't rejoin because the person who was hosting is now... Their game is classed as broken, so the connection doesn't work anymore. It's just, it's a very annoying bug, and it's been here since a month ago, a month or two ago. Yeah, it's a couple of months. Yeah, we've been a while. Yeah, it's it's not fun. Right, sh the stream should be good. Yeah. Do we like? Do legendary on like? Should we go kill Burglesburg? I thought we need some wind. Yeah, go kill Burglesburg. Yeah, now I can rejoin. Yeah, it's a, it's a really fucking annoying and just random bug, but Ovel, it is what it is. I'll bring a shield for this just in case you need one. Uh, do, 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 custom game, Hail Scourge, Legend, oh, good. Yeah, let's go inappropriately touch Burblesburg. Good ages since we've done Legendary anyway. Yeah. Well, for you, I've, been, I've been doing it loads. <laughs> oh, you know, I only ever play this game when I'm playing with you, so. Yeah. I'll be doing loads of testing for the warrior priest. Okay, man. Have fun. Have a good evening. Have a good work. Ning. For Ning. A work for Ning. Is it an evening? Is it a day? I don't know. Cheers for joining, dude. Have, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, we'll do Tuesdays and Tuesdays and Fridays about this time every week, normally. It's Thursdays. Tuesdays and Fridays. This is where we usually live stream.
That's how poor my memory is. I don't even remember when we fucking do stuff. Fuck's sake. We've done this for like two months now. Longer than that. Yeah. Oh, I've got all my secondary abilities back again. Hey, thank you. It's most appreciated. Thanks very much, dude, and we should catch you for the next one. Uh, I got eaten. I got attacked. Did Why you, you protect me, Zug? I did. I blocked it. <laughs> yeah, that hellbeard you just got was uh, for me, and I blocked, and you just got cleaved through. <laughs> It is a bit silly that that can happen though. So if if I was the initial person getting attacked and I blocked it, you would have thought the attack would have stopped with me. I forgot that the um, base game is actually more forgiving than Chaos Wastes now. No, we don't want to fight that patrol particularly, do we? Not really. We can, but there's no real need to. You want to grab that potion? Your F ability is pretty strong. My what? Your F ability. Oh, you, pop a, you pop a potion and F, do you? Yeah, that's what the purple one does. Well, the purple one oh, right. restores your purple bar. And if you combine your F ability with a strength potion, it just wrecks face. It's really good. Hmm. Right, that's what they so people do F tend to Potion then, do I? Well, you do potion then, eh? Oh, I just missed four swings in a row. That was embarrassing. I'm still getting used to the attack pattern of this thing. Oh, go. What? Matt, yeah, you just got how bearded by like three of them. storm them and dropping in from everywhere. any fucking chaos um, nights for fucking ages. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, bod. Did they actually spawn in the chaos waste? Uh, yeah, just I don't think we saw any. I haven't seen one for, like, for absolutely ages. We're mostly having beastmen and skaven, man. Ooh, almost walked into that. Chaos 
Something in the shadows, good fellows. One less attack to worry about. Oh, spawns. Makes nice change finding some Chaos Knights. I'm still quite looking forward to Dark Tide. Yeah, well, one more career and hopefully they'll get on to that. <laughs> well, man, they can just ignore this last career if they want. <laughs> you know, I'm fine if they want to ignore it. I think we just pick up one Grim on this instead of doing two. Okay. Oh, we find one Grim, we get health regen as well. Yay, health regen! Since I got the Warrior Priest, the Chaos Knights just don't want to punch me anymore. I'm just going to go make Carillion pick up this home. Yeah, more love. Pick it up. There we go. Hmm, I think they're behind us. Yeah, there they are. Got a couple of assassins coming. Hey, horde. Right. Yeah, it was quite an aggressive horde. Another Chaos Knight. <laughs> he went down like a sack of shit. Blight Stormers are they going to throw us? More than two? Yeah, there was, I think there's three there. Oh, there's a fourth what one. Have I got, um... hmm? I'm looking forward to actually playing the next episode of Anno, which I haven't done yet, but I'm basically going to... Uh... Just beautify my city, so I'm just going to put a lot of bushes in and stuff. <laughs> Sorry, man, I took. Done got me. 
I have to fuck off behind us. We had two blight stormers. Oh, and there's a fucking. Okay, so this is the seventh blight stormer in about a minute. But the game doesn't want us to win. Oh, that was a lot of chaos nights. I think I'm I'm over the uh, the excitement of seeing them again. <laughs> Are you pricks? You just get berserked. Yeah, but I just totally whiffed it. Go on back here, you schleg. We got him. Gotta grab that time. Babelsberg. It's a bit more difficult now that we're both melee because we just have to chase after him. But if you just wait till he goes up top and then pop your strength potion and then pop your ultimate on him. There you go. Use your ultimate, I'll watch it back. I haven't been caught by that for a while. Same again if you can. Oh, fucking berserkers. Oh, God. Here now. 
They were just on me like flies on shit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just insta died. It was like, I'm looking up to uh, deliver my mighty blow to him. And it's just like, uh, <laughs> and you're dead. Yeah, there's four of them. They just ate through my fucking block and just hammered the shit out of me. <laughs> Slightly overkill, but quite funny. <laughs> Got to be done. It's going to be done. Sweet, sweet victory. Absolutely. It's nice to actually win something for a change. Yeah, it does. That did feel a lot easier than doing fucking champion chaos wastes. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? And but the, the last couple of live streams we've done, we sailed through it quite happily. Yeah, maybe the game just you know doesn't like us. Well, it's probably fair to be honest. Good times. Oh, shut up, Lona. You're never helpful. So. <clears throat> just branch out some stuff. I've got, like, many things. I can't remember how to get to anything. <laughs> Useless. Right. Let's guess. Uh, we'll go to the toilet quickly and then we should do something else. Yeah, do you write your stand if you want? Oh, yeah. I might do it as, um, what's the face? Brilliant. Brilliant face, yes. All right, be right back. I'm going to the toilet. Okay. That magic you manifest, Saltspire. It looks like it tingles. Does it tingle? You speak of holy fury. For which I am but a conduit. I very impressive. But you didn't answer the question. It has a certain pleasing warmth, I must confess. So, the elf deigns us with her presence today. For now, perhaps you'd like to kiss my feet while you have the chance. Oh. Right, better rack this up. What are we doing? Right, just stand. What is this old alliance? Time for cheese. Oh, yes. I went and bought some cheese. I haven't got any fabulous cheese for Christmas, but I bought crackers. Oh nice! I got some. I got some all right cheeses for Christmas, but it's like 
after the last couple of Christmases with, with fucking COVID, man, it's like, I, I can't be bothered going all extravagant. I don't care. Yeah. Also, have you noticed that the, the intros to the maps now aren't done by Lona? No. Done by, they're done by Saltspire and Carillion. Oh, no. Yeah. But yeah, I've, I, I think I've got some Cam Bear. I think that's about as fancy of, as I've gone this year. And some crackers, like sea salt ones, and then rosemary, rosemary and chive crackers. Rosemary and chive crackers. You fan of rosemary, though? No. No, oh, man. It, rem it was it. No, it's thyme. I don't like it's thyme. Oh man. Tomato and thyme soup. Oh, I'm num num. Oh man, it's the problem is, like the, the taste and smell of lamb cooking repulses me, and um, thyme just reminds me of lamb. Fucking hell! Fucking hell! Sneezy. Um, the smell of thyme reminds you of the smell of lamb. Yeah, it, and the smell of lamb just turns my stomach. I don't know what it is about it, man. It just makes me feel incredibly sick. Alone and fall into chaos. Good. Maybe we can go and kill him. Yeah, and maybe you'd shut the fuck up. Uh, even though, actually, if he turned to chaos, he'd just talk more. And like, just we'll monologue his plans. Spawn. Yeah, I bite you. I just talk a lot. Oh, yeah, that you were... Uh... Something weird happened to you. I heard you were touched by uh, in Castle Dragonfields by uh, Dragonfields himself. Never you mind. I feel sad when I have to hit someone right of a glaive like it's five times to kill him. It's like, how's that working out? I've got a fucking glaive. What are you doing? Yeah, it's not like. A delicate weapon, is it? It's like a giant fuck off axe. It's a very unelfy weapon, to be honest. I don't know. Well, they're saying that the new high elves have just got loads of maces, haven't they? Blight Storm somewhere, I just can't see him. I think it was just a uh, gut runner. Oh no, I can, I can hear him walking around and chanting. He will show his bulbous face in a minute. Yeah, well remembered, Django. Yeah, the White Lions, they do use glaives because they're like. Was it was at a time when the there king was saved by a bunch of crazy ass woodsmen. Yeah. Oh, several of them. Yeah. Kruber, why did you just stand there and let yourself die? You fucking idiot. I can't do anything about him apart from tag him and then run away. Yeah, it's when the king of Ephelorum was saved by a bunch of wood elves or elves in the woods, when it was Yeah, it was just elves. um yeah, it was a bunch of woodsmen that just came out and saved him and I don't think the white lines exist in Age of Sigma though. Uh, no, no, no. I found the whole thing very weird, especially the fact that you know that Malekith's entire storyline was that he wanted to become the the Phoenix King or whatever it was, and 
stepped into the flame and got horrendously burnt. That's why he ran away and donned the black armor. And, and then it turns out he was the Phoenix King and it was just the gods having a bit of a laugh burning him severely. Same thing happened to my dad. I thought your dad was the, uh, the Phoenix King and the Witch King. Well, of course he was, but obviously the gods burned him before... Oh, like, well, I didn't want to ask about the scars, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it felt a bit <laughs> dickish to ask. Yeah, Though he said to me, if I ever asked him about it, he'd cut me. Well, he said he'd strike me up. Yeah, man. But Basically, with your dad, that's just playful banter. Yeah. So not only is he the, the Phoenix King, he's also the Witch King of Nagaroth. My dad, yeah. yeah. It's pretty overrated though, to be honest. It seems it. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just drink this healing potion and I'll pick up this time. Barden, save him! Do you know what I was thinking to do, man? It was um, re-watching the first three Star Wars films. Like, well, I say the... Like, A New Hope and... and uh, number them. Number them. Four, five, six. No, Phantom Menace and that lot. That's what I was going to be. One, two, three. Yes. Because they weren't horrifically well. The Phantom Menace was, but oh, they're, they're good. The next two weren't that bad. Man, compared to what we have now, yeah, they're a man. fucking treat. Oh yeah, cinematic masterpieces compared to the Disney tripe. Yeah. We don't talk about that on this channel, remember? Oh yeah. Uh, no, if he lies I, on the floor, it's part of his plan. Crew is beyond. It's it's just that when I looked over to him, he was just, he went and hid in the corner, stood there. Let himself get hit six or seven times, and then fell over. I was just like, "What are you doing?" That's like my next level thinking. It's just also, I quite like you and McGregor. I think you did a bloody good job of being Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, no, it's just, you know, it's all ruined now. All ruined. Yeah. Just all ruins. fucked. Oh, fucked! I mean, it's great. And we don't talk about it. Oh, well. Um, it's like, I fucked the fucking time! It's all fine. Season two of The Witch is coming out on Friday. <laughs> yeah. I they won't fuck that. Oh, let's hope so. So I think Henry Cavill is rich enough and popular enough to not let them do that. Because he's also quite yeah. a fan of the, the story, like the proper story. Well, Henry Cavill did the Wheel of Time. Uh, uh, no, he wouldn't have been a... Would he made a good, a good land? Yeah, actually. actually. Yeah, man, actually thinking about it, yeah, I can see Henry Cavill's land. I couldn't actually, see you and McGregor's make land. A very good la no, but I think I think Henry Cavill make a good land. Yeah. He plays um, sort of deadpan Thanks. gruff as. Well, no, he, like as Geralt, man, he's he's quite deadpan and. Rough, isn't he? Yeah.
And honestly, do you know who I would have had as Moraine? Mm -hmm. uh, the girl from Game of Thrones, the dragon girl. I think she would have been quite good as Moraine. Don't you agree? Or you don't agree? Mm, not really. Who would you have had not as really Marine right, then? Uh, but maybe she just said no. I've no idea actually. I know who I would have had as Swan Sunshay though. Who's that? Um, remember the woman from Constantine, Tilda something, the one who played Gabriel, the woman you can't quite tell if she's male or female sort of thing. I remember what her last name is. Jamie Lee Curtis. Who? Her name's Tilda something. She looks. She's like very blonde hair, very short blonde hair. You remember the film Constantine, yeah? With Keanu Reeves. Not that well. Mm, fair enough. Yeah, there is. I think there's a story element that the uh, witches aren't big on emotion. Yeah, the, um, the trials of whatever it was fucking called, trials of grass, the twig, <laughs> something like that. Um, it basically burns out most emotion from them. I say most, but it does send their emotions sort of to the extreme ends of the spectrum. And what it doesn't burn out kind of being a social pariah and hated by everyone kind of jades them quite a lot. So I really enjoyed the uh, animated film of um, Vesemir's backstory. That was really good. It turns out the reason all the witches are dead is completely Vesemir's fault. He had just left well enough alone. How are you getting on that monster? He's very keen. Oh, he's dead. Okay, it's just. I was just behind you guys and then a fucking wave turned up it's like I can't move there's so many berserkers in this wave oh. oh bugger we didn't pick up the first fucking gr oh well we'll just get one grim Take, bounce off of it. Oh, salt spy's got fat. He keeps sliding off of things. <laughs> Those mighty pauldrons of his, man. Oh, gold. The fucking leech chasing after me. 
Oh, good, it's got Kruber. Oh, and there's the Blightstormer. I don't think the uh, white, the plant woman, this character is a, a support character in any shape or form. It's a fucking thrashing machine. Yeah, man, she's like the the deepwood staff. Kind of slightly, maybe makes her a support, but it's it's not great. I'd never suggest taking it unless you had a very specific reason for it. Oh, save you with the power of bombs. Let me heal you, mate. My thanks, Mayfly. Ready to go, Trinkle Lad. He's here for you. We're on now. You here. Just quick. Oh, I might go snap one of those healing things just for the sake of it. Yeah, man, I agree. I don't think she's a support at all. Where's your buddy? Who? Oh, Sigma! <laughs> He's a very square hammer. You gonna come and tower? <laughs> Yeah, anyway. All I say at the moment is at least I've got the Expanse, and then I'm going to have, like, The Witcher, and then I'm going to have Cobra Kai. Oh, I need to... I, I'm going to watch Cobra Kai from the beginning again. I'm not sure where I got... Because I was watching it with Tor, and then, like, last year happened, and, you know, all that sort of thing. So we, we didn't finish watching the second season together. He's so, not watching. It's four seasons coming. Didn't they cancel it or did they uncancel it? No, it never got cancelled, man. Well, I thought I heard something like that coming. Well, I'm glad they nah, didn't. Nah, it never got cancelled. Man, I really, really enjoyed the first season. It was really good. Absolutely ridiculous, but funny. Really nicely done. Nice yeah. homage to the 80s. It's ridiculous, but, you know, that's fine. And I really like the fact that they got all of the old characters back for it. Yeah, I think that is an example of okay, you're rebooting something, but rebooting it properly. It's not even a reboot; it's actually a sequel. Well, it's actually a continuation, so it's not a reboot; it's an actual continuation. Well, you can't, you know what I mean, man? Like they're using an old IP and you know, not just oh, it's butchering a, it. Yeah, just carrying on uh, an yeah. old uh, an old IP whilst respecting it and not treating it like utter crap and like basically re retconning everything to make everyone shit yeah like they've got some really strong female characters in Cobra Kai which is really good but they haven't just shoehorned it in going nope no nope, Mr. Miyagi is now a woman it's like mm, can't really do that why not make like lovely new characters for people and make them strong and have their own individual backstories. Um, we're getting into the time territory. Yeah. 
Also, um, I think the next series of The Boys is actually coming out soon, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's in... Uh, say House is coming out soon. I, th I enjoy... Do you watch The Boys? Yeah, yeah man, I watch The Boys. Oh, I fucking love The Boys, man. Oh, I've been mm. hurt. Yeah. Not surprised, man. There's like six berserkers in that pack. Although the boys is a little bit, a little bit along the really? lines, but yeah, it's all right. Well, man, just be glad they didn't stay completely true to the fucking graphic novels, man. That's all I say. It's so much worse. It's so much know. worse. I think it would have just made the villains more villainous, actually. Mm, I think the show did a really good job of making it slightly more subtle without yeah. being a detriment. I suppose that the whole thing where, like, you know, whatever, whatever a face joins and then, like, she's, like, made to, like, suck every man's dick in the thing. And so, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's pretty grim. I don't think yeah. they... I don't think they'd probably get away with it on Amazon because it's just like they've got certain sensibilities on Amazon, haven't they? Well, they made her do it to the deep. Yeah, but it's not the same as making everyone, someone do it to everyone. Yeah. All the people. Yeah, it's... Mm. To be honest, man, I think some things <laughs> are okay being Possibly toned down. Don't translate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We get the idea, yeah, but again, yeah. But I, again, I, w I would say that The Boys is probably not as, um, oh, probably new, uh, oh dear, punch my microphone, probably a new series of Invincible coming up next year. Oh, cool. Um, I really liked Invincible. I think, it's got another, I think it's got another two seasons. Good. I think it's been renewed for that. Fucking hell, man. He's wrecked face in that one. We're not used to seeing all those green circles. Oh, God. Bloody hell. You go. I think you found your character, man. <laughs> Many kills of the melee kind. Bloody hell. Apparently, I got six range kills. Go me. Oh, bomb man. <laughs> <laughs> bomb hands. That's insane. Fucking hell. Crazy character. Getting nippy out, don't you think? Shut up, Lona. Oh, but as I was saying, I don't think The Boys is a, a sacred kind of IP as The Wheel of Time. No, it... It has its I mean, following, but yeah. nowhere near in the size of The Wheel of Time. Because The Wheel of Time was like, what? I think it was like 90 million sold before it was... Yeah. But it got ruined by Amazon. Um, but... I think it's like, because like, um... It's almost like they, they the sort of truthed it. I don't know. Do you remember the Sword of Truth series? I watched the first couple of episodes and it was awful, so no. I watched the first 15 minutes of an episode I went, no. I don't remember this big green bubble of siege engines. But, you know, the Wheel of Time could have been great. Yeah, I know. Even man. if they'd just done the very first scene. Just the first scene. It's almost like we're not even allowed to have the first fucking scene in the fucking book. Nope. And it's just like, why couldn't you give us just the first scene without any context? Nothing. Just do that. And then, like, that would have been it. But, ah, uh, the white coats are rubbish. Are they? 
just, oh, it's just so bad. I'm quite glad I haven't watched it. It's so bad. Just don't watch it. They're, they're, they're not a bunch of zealous, womanizing, uh, evil bastards. No, no, but they've just like no, it's just they've just been done really badly. They're just like. I mean, you know, the fact that the, 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 they're hinting that the Dragon Ball Reborn can be like a, right, can be like, not a man. No. And it's just like, you know, normally, in other things, I go like, oh, you know what, that that's ridiculous. There's, there's no reason why you couldn't gender swap a character, <clears throat> sort of. But. For this is a really good reason and it's like you know simply reason the dragon reborn is such a threat to society because basically you know the it's magic man, that can the man the, well the man that used the magic go insane yeah that's the whole so point therefore that's why the dragon reborn is going to go insane because he's going to he's going to be a channeler who's yeah. going to use evil magic and and by saying it's a woman, well, what's going to drive the woman insane? Nothing. Nothing. Then the, uh, the Dragon Reborn would be fine and everyone had, would have a big party when the Dragon Reborn turned up. Yeah. It's basically shitting on the entire premise of the book. Not to mention the fact that the Dragon Reborn is always Luz Theron reincarnated. And he he oh. is reincarnated every time as a man because it's him oh, well, being apparently reborn. They've, apparently they've decided that like you know, souls could just they're just souls and they can be reborn in male or female oh. bodies. And and they've even injected the concept of like they've heard of souls that can split in parts. No. So so I think I was watching Shadowversity and they were saying that, that, that they reckon they might actually switch Uh, yeah, the, yeah. I, I, again, I would say is is Doctor Who more beloved than the Wheel of Time? Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Just, oh, they're, they're, they're not my show. <laughs> Ruin my book. <laughs> Ruin the book I like. When they convert it into a virtue signing pile of shit. A, a loose approximation uh, as uh, uh, a zombie corpse of the Wheel of Time dressed up like <laughs> the Wheel of Time. The dead body. The dwarfs oh no, apparently, yeah. And that's been cancelled. Yeah, cowboy beef flops. <laughs> yep. <laughs> beef flops. <laughs> Didn't watch it. I've not watched all of Cowboy Bebop, the, the animated show, but. I've seen the first like six, I think. Oh, I've watched it many, so, many times. Yeah, but I know. So when I looked at the premise, I sort of watched the first episode of the um, live action Cowboy what, like, Bebop. They ruined the bartender. Oh they, no, it's awful. It, the mm. whole thing is awful. I, I read what they did to the bartender and basically destroyed the character, and I was just like, no, not watching this. Yeah, it was bad. The the fact that they introduced the the womanly person in the first episode. I haven't seen it, man. Just I refuse to. Oh yeah, it's awful. Well, no, I've watched the first episode because I wanted to see how bad it was. Because I've heard bad things, and I'd seen the first like six episodes of Cowboy Bebop, and I actually thought this is actually not too bad. But my my one takeaway from it was, fuck me, this show is boring. It was so boring. Because I know the Cowboy Bebop's like 20 minutes an episode, isn't it? Yeah. And they just kind of get around, they just get on with the fucking story. Mm. I'll spot that. I'm just going to grab the tome. Yeah, man. And what makes me really irritated is that I feel I can't complain about it without sounding like some sort of misogynistic cock. 
No. But that's what they want. That's the problem. You got a rat assassin coming at you. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. Um, maybe I can get to you. Oh. I don't think you can. Never fear. Other than the bots are here. And out of my face. No, it was terrible. Like I say, I've got a limited exposure to Cowboy Bebop and it was bad. Oh, shit. A bit rough. Yeah. Oh, that was a. This is a rough start, man. Man, it's it's just like if you, if they're gonna make these turn these things into live action or or you know just make them as a show, why can't they just stick to the fucking story? Because uh, they think they can write um, better stories than um, the original creators. Oh, that's a lot of berserkers. Uh, yeah. They can write a better story than Robert Jordan or Brian Sanderson. Yep, apparently so. I, I know a lot of people go, oh, Robert Jordan's quite hacky and it's just Lord of the Rings. So, like, well, it's not really good. Thank you. Just, oh, man. But anyway, it's just, it's saddening. You know what? If people, you know what? If people like it, good on you. I don't like it. There you go. That's my last. I'm not going to bitch about it more. <laughs> the thing about this channel, I don't want it built on some sort of like negative. I don't really desperately don't want to put on negativity. Yeah. Because there's so much in the world. So let's just talk about games that we enjoy. And the technicalities of playing games and you notice I actually managed to survive that, which is shocking. Yeah man. You're really sort of yelling with the sister of Thorn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty chill. Yeah, All that point in the right career for you. Turns out the career for me was the massively overpowered, easy to play one. Ugh. Oh man, why do you think I played it for so fucking long? That's true. Because again, you know, I always say that, like, you know, I could probably make, like, many, many videos on, like, all the shitty pop culture stuff I don't like. Well, try not to really worry about it too much. Yeah, I was thinking about that the other day, man. I don't think I could. No. Well, it. the only reason is, is that I'm not as articulate as like, these people. No. Uh, we have a question about Vermintide, which is 
Excellent. Ask us about Vermintide. Um, Monster-wise, not so great because you're not a massive DPS cannon. But specials, you will chew up. You'll chew through any heavy armor because you're pretty much a mace specialist. Heavy attacks with the mace. Chaos Warriors, Storm Vermin. Vestigals, they go down like a sack of shit. But just don't expect to be doing huge amounts of damage to monsters because it's not really what the Warrior Priest is about. No, you killed my father. Now you've come back for me. Oh, if only I had. But yeah, the Warrior Priest, though, um, I find it incredibly fun. You're massively tanky. The weapons are really fun. They've got really nice attack patterns. And also, you look really cool. What's that little mushroom? Oh, we've... I what forgot. is that? We unlocked um, emojis in the chat with 500 subs as well. We? Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> we just got another, emojis. Just another one of the things that, you know, YouTube doesn't tell us about. Really? Um, Ooh, I have a question. Oh, our versus monster doesn't. It's not going to do much because the problem is the the power versus monster is really there to enhance your inbuilt power anyway. But the warrior priest doesn't really have any. Like you, you can do a fair amount, like any sort of base career, but you're not going to be anywhere close to say a shade or a sister of a thorn with your ability to damage monsters you're going to be middle of the road at best so i wouldn't bother putting any um power versus monsters on your gear S to get to the break points you'd need you would have to basically screw over all of your other stats for it and even then you wouldn't even be close is that a hug yeah you, know you always talk about break points yeah What's a break point? It is for your ability to be able to stagger and stun and basically break the attack pattern of any heavy armoured monster on Legend or Cataclysm. Because right, so you need a certain level of like power to do that, do you? Yeah, power versus something. Right. And for example, I'm running power versus chaos and power versus berserker on this at the moment because with the mace, I'm able to interrupt the attack pattern by hitting them on Legend and Cataclysm. But Does that mean that, you can interrupt the big monsters' like attack no. patterns by having power versus monsters? All right. No. Mm. Monsters that are in you more damage. Yeah, monsters are uninterruptible right. apart from uh, F abilities and bombs. Oh, and oh no, that's F abilities. I was about to just say it's like Kruber's shout for healing or Vic, uh, Salt Spires. Witch Hunter ability where he, you know, tags everything. That can stagger anything regardless of what power you have. Right. But yeah, breakpoints are literally there to um Got the clues in the name. Oh, I'm, I've actually managed to keep hold of my tome for some reason. There's a potion I, that I died with. Weird. I'm not gonna complain, but well, that's weird. Yeah, there's there's probably better explanations of what breakpoints do, and I can highly suggest going looking up uh, Royale of Cheese on the Steam forums. It's, he's a he's a fucking mastermind when it comes to this game. That's generally what they do, and it's to non other characters. So say you're playing. I pulled the patrol. It's all right. Say you're playing the bounty hunter. The breakpoints you would be using would be able to get you to be able to one shot body shot elites and specials. So, for example, uh, an assassin, a hook rat. So, it increases your ability to deal with them, not just stagger them. But on a melee class like this, the whole point of the power is to stagger. On range classes, it's, it's to um, be able to body shot or headshot elites with certainty instead of having to put a few shots down range of them mm. 
enough. Oh, and if anyone tells you you need stamina for Warrior Priest as well, turn to fuck off. You say, sir, you are a liar. Gas rat fucking around. Um, on paper, it looks really good, but because of your your inherent ability to get that with just one power versus chaos and one power versus berserker on your gear, and just the power of the hammers anyway, you don't actually need it. It is actually better to use the uh, health buff or... Failing that, use the crit damage buff. It was a weird one, that, because I thought for a while that would actually be the auto take. But it's actually a bit of a red herring and does very little for you. Because the main ability with uh, the Warrior Priest is being able to buff your party with um, you know, like your ability to heal and all the other bits and bobs you can do. The stagger just isn't as useful as you'd think it is, mostly because most high-end players are going to be building for stagger anyway on their own gear. It, it's kind of only useful if you're playing in a constant team and people build around it. Whereas uh, crit damage and health are just useful at all times. Fucking hell. Thank you, Kruber. If you've got any other questions, uh, please do feel free to ask. I'm still doing a lot of testing on the Warrior Priest, so not everything is 100% right now, but it's it's getting there. Uh, that is is very dependent on what weapon you want to use. So I mostly stick with the hammer, well, the two-handed Holy Great Hammer. So it's uh, temporary health on kill. But if you're using the head skull splitters, it would be temporary health on stagger or cleave, whichever one it is. <laughs> totally fuck <fun>, that. <laughs> yeah, I was watching. But if it makes you feel better, I fucked it as well. You just won the got hit. That's the Oh, I hear a rat ogre and just stopped.
But for some reason, I don't I don't see like the paired skull splitters. I just find them a bit meh. That is my off weapon. I usually use the flail and shield. Just because it's better than the flail on its own. Uh, yeah, I tend to go with um, quick hits. Especially if it's facing me, I'll just um, I'll use the light attacks. But if it's looking away or somebody's properly tanking it, I'll just heavy attack it. For elites as well, um, if there's a fairly clear path, I'll heavy attack them just to get them out of the way quicker. But if they're mixed in with a horde, I'll just cleave them with the light attacks. You can weave in as well. Um, It's heavy attack three, light attack one. Come on, Fucking hell, Bardin, what are you doing? Be careful. Gas, relax. Gas threat appears to be floating. And he's dead. Oh god. Bloody things. So yeah, all, all I'm saying is you can go in from heavy attack three then tap light attack one and you they're both overhead shots so it's cleave cleave overhead and then overhead it works better if you actually do the fucking sequence right instead of fucking up like I just did you're right by there You there to kill? You have the power of oh, Sigma. Can... Very good. Snap his health. Thanks for that, Kruber. There's been a fuck ton of assassins on this map. But I like this map because there's no leeches or blight stormers. One map where no chaos or beast men can spawn. Is it? Yeah. Have you never noticed this is always Skaven? I suppose it is a Skaven nest, so you know, I suppose mm. it does make kind of, from a law point of view, it does make a lot of oh, sense. From a law point of view, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
think you'll find that, oh, let me just say a little bit more reinvigorate yourself health potion I think they've gotten a nice balance with the warrior priest. He's not like ridiculous when it comes to monsters or bosses. But he can hold his own. But he'll never get anywhere near like Kurillian's or the uh, Grail Knight's level of fucking damage. But like the uh, Foot Knight and the Iron Breaker, you're pretty much just there to be a goon. You're there to get in the middle of everything and just stagger and keep those stagger debuffs rolling and keep the team alive. Yeah, it, it would have been nice, but the uh, Sister of Thorn is just crazy fucking broken. The Grow Knight's been toned down a bit since he came out. And the engineer is just in a bit of a weird spot where he's sort of easy to learn, impossible to master kind of thing. There should be Django. There should be. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. We got we got emojis in chat. That's I know, man. amazing. I'm coming up in the world we are. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, there she won, shockingly. Well, you fucking pulled it back there, man. Yeah, like, it, look at the Sister of Thorn. Yes, she is a powerhouse of a threshing machine. I haven't got that yet. What have we got? Fucking hell. Yep. Like the Sister of the Thorn, you can play super fucking aggressively. Like with the knowledge, you can pretty much one shot most things, especially when you jump between the Glaive and the Javelin. Okay. And then you've got cool. your, and then you've got your F ability. You've got two charges of it, and if you change that over to Blood Spike, um, you know if, if you get in a hairy situation, you just pop it, and you've knocked over the entire crowd, and generally killed them. Yeah, that's madness. Madness. It's Look really that. good. Alright, so what am I using? I'm using Slayer of the Wicked, so damaging multiple enemies in one swing of a melee weapon grants temporary health. Yeah, the spear's a good one to go for as well. I, I just find... Well, I'm, I'm quite lazy when I play it, so I like having the two weapons, they'll kind of bounce off of each other. So with the glaive, you can just keep swinging and know you'll cut through armour and not have a problem. <coughs> with the spear, you've got to be quite... Um, finicky and make sure you're aiming for the face continuously otherwise you'll just you'll have problems with shields and armor and stuff so yeah if you're going with um let me have a look i've got it written down in my book of knowledge in my book of knowledge yeah is it, is it just a hammer in pretty your much book? it's just it just says it's got the good book written on it, and it just says smash things, and there's lots of hammers drawn next to it. Hammer. 
So yeah, what it says is if you're going with uh, the Holy Great Hammer or the Skull Pl Splitter and Shield, Eternal Vigilance is better. Paired Great Hammers and the Flail go with Slayer of the Wicked. But because I'm using the Flail as my offhand, I'm sticking with Slayer of the Wicked. So I generally stick with that. And Unstoppable Force is pretty good as well. But I kind of prefer Sigmar's Executioner. But, 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 we've got like, I think it's a, I think of sadly, we are but mortals. Yeah. <laughs> and we do have to, uh, we have to depart here yeah, because it's getting a bit late here where we are. So, um, I think we'd just like to say thank you very much for everyone who's turned up, asked your questions, amused us with your comments. It's been most appreciated. Um, Obviously, we're Broadside Gaming. If you have enjoyed the channel and you or the channel, the fuck, content, content, yeah, that's the thing. If you've enjoyed <laughs> it um, and you haven't already, uh, it'll be great if you could sub. That would be awesome. We we are trying to crawl our way up to a thousand subscribers. So I don't know. So we can say we've got a thousand subscribers. I don't. Why are we doing it, Zug? Um, so we can yeah. live stream from other devices and actually do painting content as well. Oh god, yeah, we want to live stream. We want to. We want to live stream from our phones. <laughs> yeah, because we're too <laughs> cheap to buy cameras do. and stuff. Absolutely, yeah. So well, I've also got a final bot at the end there. So yeah. So um, if you have and you haven't, uh, if you're on the vod and you've got this far, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I guess we'll just say farewell. Thank you very much. Yeah, cheers for watching, everyone. And we'll goodbye. catch you all next time. See you later. Take it easy.